Hello, I'm Ryan F9, and these are my favorite tail bags, top cases, and sissy bar bags. First up is the one that I actually want to buy for the upcoming riding season, and that'd be First Gear's Torrent Waterproof Duffel. And this is the second piece of luggage that I've reviewed from the Torrent lineup, and I love it for the exact same reasons. It's just a simple PVC tarpaulin sack. I mean, I can carry it as a duffel, I can throw it on the tail of my bike, those are the primary purposes. But what I love about a really durable and simple piece of equipment is that the possibilities are just kind of endless. I mean, I can tie it to my crash bars, I could lash it to the front of a kayak and do a barrel roll. It just kind of works, and that's really what I want for my adventure kit. I've got a main carry handle on top, and then there's two cargo handles on either side in case I fill the duffel with rocks and need to use both hands or something. First Gear also included this clip-on shoulder strap, which I was pleasantly surprised to find. There's also a zippered pocket at the front. Opening up the bag, I just undo these compression straps and then unroll the mouth of it as well. Now, there's 40 liters of pure cargo space in this thing. They come in 25 and 70 liter options as well. I could definitely stuff a little bit more in this guy, but if it gets so full that I can't make those three rolls on the top of this bag, it's not gonna be totally waterproof. Attachment to the bike was easy enough. The bottom of this bag has four D-rings, and it comes with four multi-purpose double D-ring straps like this. So I set the duffel on here and then tied it to the luggage rack with three of these straps. It took me maybe five minutes to get it right. My main complaint though is that there's no quick release buckles on these straps. So I'm gonna have to redo the strapping every time I take the duffel on and off. The other thing is that I absolutely need this luggage rack to make it work. So, the first gear is my favorite adventure and touring option. For sport riding, I tend to stay away from tail bags entirely, and they hold the weight really high into the rear, so that kind of messes up my dynamics. But what about cruising? Tail bags actually go great on cruisers, and with some of them you can even use the sissy bar as your anchor point. And this is the Saddleman Large Cruising Sissy Bar Bag, and I actually chose it ironically because it's small. I love little motorcycle luggage. I think it adds a lot of style to the bike. It definitely adds some storage space. The main thing that gets me is that with such a small piece, I'm not gonna be worried about taking it on and off all the time. I can just mount it once and leave it there. Speaking of which, this guy installs as easy as it gets. One big Velcro strap, which is really gonna fit 95% of sissy bars out there. And just in case I do have a telephone pole mounted on the back of my bike, Saddleman has given us the Velcro extender strap as well. And that's pretty much it in terms of installation. I also have this one strap up here. I might run a line from there to the cross beam on my sissy bar just to keep this bag vertically where I want it so it doesn't slide down and start rubbing on my fender. Opening it up, I undo this toy padlock here, which is totally useless, so I'm never putting that back on. And then I just twist this little knob, pull open that, grab the Velcro, and then there's the inside of your bag. So it's a nice little bit of cargo room. We have these little mesh pouches on either side. And I measured this guy about 11 inches across here, nine and a half inches deep, and then four and a half inches wide. Now, if I'm hitting the open road for months at a time, obviously that little sissy bar bag isn't gonna cut it. I need something bigger. And here's bigger, Saddleman's BR3400 sissy bar bag. There's loads of features on this guy. If you're not a cruiser, it's gonna bore the hell out of you. So I'll go through them pretty fast. Up front, we have a utility pocket. So in here we have, mesh divider, we have pockets for cell phone, pens, that kind of thing. And coming around the side, I think this is really neat actually. If we open up this pocket here, that's gonna be your expansion gusset. So we have an extra inch to play with. Then we open up the pocket itself, a little bit of cargo space, deja vu on the mesh panel in there. So I can pack that up, close it up. And if I haven't packed too tight, then I can close the expansion gusset again as well. Up top here, this is gonna be where the rain shell is kept for the bag. It's actually hard tethered to the pocket itself, so if the rain shell blows off in the wind, I'm not actually gonna lose it. And then here is just another standard zippered pocket beneath it with a mesh panel. If I unbuckle this top flap, this is gonna be your first major cargo pouch that we've seen. It's actually the exact same size as the entire Cruise and Sissy Bar bag that we just saw. What I can also do, which I really love, is throw my jacket or bedroll across this top section here, and then buckle it down again. Now the grand finale is the main compartment. BR3400 stands for 3400 cubic inches, which is over 55 liters Canada. Now this is gonna fit my full face helmet, no problem. A couple of half helmets will be child's play in here. It's not the most technical interior, a couple of mesh panels, laptop sleeve at the back, nothing too intense. And to be honest, I like a simpler cargo area. It maximizes the usable space. Installation is really simple. Saddleman gives me two options here. If I have a sissy bar, it just slides right through this flap. And I can also adjust the width of this guy by just pulling open this Velcro, sliding out the push rod, and then putting it into one of these other two channels instead. I could also take this panel right the way off if I wasn't doing the sissy bar mount. But to be honest, I probably wouldn't bother because I do have 
a backrest cushion that sticks right there. Then for the other mounting system, I take my seat off and then I put these two panels together depending on how wide my motorcycle seat is. This strap down the middle here is really simple. You just run it through the double D ring here and then you run it back on itself just as you would with a motorcycle helmet. And all this really does is just give it a bit of extra support to this uh, seat harness so that the Velcro doesn't pull apart because this guy's holding it together. After that, it's really just a question of grabbing these straps that are included. You attach them to the anchors on the seat harness, and then you attach them via the quick release knobs to your motorcycle bag as well. Both mounting options work great, but even if I use the sissy bar mount, I'm still gonna let this guy sit on my rear seat because the BR3400 is really heavy when it's full. And the only place on my bike that's really meant to take that kind of weight is the seat itself. Saddleman threw in two more goodies to close us off. I love the detachable backpack straps. Now, would I actually wanna carry this thing as a backpack? Hell no. But if I need to lug it 100 meters from my motorcycle to the motel room, the straps are useful. The second goodie, I was really hoping not to see. With a big, heavy-duty $300 bag, you'd think that Saddleman wouldn't bother with the My Little Pony padlock. But nope, that's exactly what I got. Serious bag, toy lock. Now, for a hard top case, I'd take Emgo's travel trunk. The Emgo brand doesn't scream quality, and neither does the travel trunk, to be honest. But it's durable enough to get the job done. If I was trying to break into it, the locking mechanism would keep me frustrated for a few minutes. And at 120 bucks, the price is right. Of course you'd get a bit more durability from GV. But if I drop my bike the right way, I know that a premium case can crack open all the same. Might as well go cheap and replace it if I have to. To me, the style actually looks really nice. It's somewhere between a spam can and a typical commuter case, so it looks great anywhere from an ADV bike to a scooter. And this little reflective panel here, that's a nice touch. I think that the yellow MGO stickers look totally tacky though, but fortunately I can peel them off. You can mount this guy on most luggage racks, and the thing that really sealed the deal for me Mounting hardware is included. I'll secure this base plate into my luggage rack, being really careful to make sure that it's totally flat or else the plastic might crack. If I do it right though, it is really strong. My only complaint is that if I'm riding around with the travel trunk off and just this bare base plate on here, I think it's kind of ugly. Opening it up, I have a 16 by 12 by 11 inch space, which is actually enough to throw a full face helmet inside. And then when I close it, I'm never actually gonna forget to lock this case because if I try to take the key out in the open position, it just opens the lever again. So that's a nice little reminder feature to lock your luggage. So far as I can tell, the travel trunk is waterproof, but MGO won't actually call it that, so that scares me a little bit. It's also not the biggest top case out there, but and to be honest, I don't really want that much weight up high anyway. And that's it for my favorite tail bags, top cases, and sissy bar bags. Thank you guys very much for watching.